Hey, I'm Chris with Mobility Solutions, AffordableMedicalUSA.com, and this is a new unboxing 2024 of the Triax Sport by Enhanced Mobility. Now, this is a recreational scooter, so this scooter is not for everybody, but this is a really cool scooter. We've sold a lot of these over the years, um, and they just came back, and uh, we're going to show you how to unbox it. So they come in a lot of different colors. It's going to be a really easy unbox. Just cut those straps come into here and one thing I want to point out is this is the battery now the battery can be charged away from the unit through here you have to have this switch on for it to offer to charge it so that's one thing you need to be aware of this is the long battery they also make a TSA battery so this is the 12 amp hour battery um, so they have two different batteries to choose from so make sure if you're gonna be flying to get the correct one so just get into here and take all this styrofoam and stuff out. Now you can also buy this with a wide seat, which this one will have the wider seat of it on it. And it's like a motorcycle drive, so I'll show you all that. This thing's really nice. It's, again, I repeat, it's not for everybody, but a lot of people that go to car shows, cruises, different things like that, this could be good for them. I actually took this to the Bahamas. Uh, we had a blast with it because it's fast and it's a brushless motor. I'm not exactly sure the weight on this. It's probably about 40, a little bit less than 50 pounds. It doesn't feel that heavy. And then inside of here, we'll have your charger, your manual, and your basket. I'm going to show you how that goes on. Now this one's in purple. So this just comes up. It can stop right here or back here is a lever. You can bring it up a little bit higher. So this will probably have to work itself out. Um, if you want to bring this up, you can. There's a little thing you use right here. So you can adjust this to the height you need and tighten it back up. Right here, this is a little bumper guard. Now this can be moved out by pulling that little cotter pin and just slide it out. And what's also neat about this is this, guys. If you're going somewhere and you want to carry a cooler or whatnot, you can slide this out. It's like a little rack. So right here, we'll pull this out. Now, coming out of the box, you're gonna have to just get it to go, but you can slide this out and now you can hold a suitcase back here, a cooler or whatever. And if you want it in, just slide it in. So the battery is here, charge it up before you use it. But basically all it does is it slides down this little, down here. So just get it, slides. Take this, you can come through this, or you can just plug it right into here. Keys, just on, cut that off. And you see when I turned it on, it didn't turn on. So you're gonna need to flip that switch back here. And now you have control. There's three speeds, slow, medium, and fast. There's your horn, there's your lights, there's your reverse, and that's your forward. Now I'm gonna attach the basket onto it and this brake can be moved. If you don't like it right here, you can loosen this and bring it up. You also have locking brakes. So how this rolls is brushless motor. So it's not a locking brake like most scooters. You can pull this and then, so that stays tight for you. Pull that to release it. Now let's get into the basket. Again, this is your charger. This is the manual. Here is your basket. And this is a soft basket. So a lot of room in here, handle. It looks like they've changed this up a little bit. So let's see what they got going on in here. Don't know if you're gonna need those, but you'll go ahead and back these screws out. So we'll see if you need that. You might need it to make it a little bit tighter. So this would go up and over, and this is gonna connect right here. But see how that's gonna wiggle a little bit? So if you do wanna take some of that wiggleness off, I guess you would be using these to help, but I've never used them before. I don't know if they're just giving you extra ones or what they're doing, but this is going to go to the front. So they can use these again for inside of here. And that's just going to make it a lot tighter. But I don't know if they're just giving you extra ones or what, but I don't even know if you need them all. You don't need all this. You might not even need these at all, guys. I'm, I'm not sure. So if you got three hands, it makes it easier. You probably don't even need them at all. So I wouldn't even use these. If you need them later, you can use them. I'll just take those off. We'll see how it tightens up without them. I've never seen them before. They didn't have them on the old ones. They just brought this back. So I'm using a couple of those spacers just to see if I can get a little bit tighter. 
If you're looking for a scooter with some speed, a really fun scooter, this is it. Long battery, TSA approved battery option, smaller seat. So if you need a wider seat, get the 18 inch seat. You can always add it later if you need it, but the seat that comes in it regular is a little small. You can adjust this basket a little bit. It's a little bit of adjustment. So we'll just adjust it a little bit. And don't over tighten, eat, take your time, like go around and tighten them up. No, that's much better. So you use at least one set of these when you do it. You'll see what I'm talking about when you get it. And I'll put this in the basket in a bag. And then this just clips and then there's your little basket. And if you want to lock it, you can lock it so it stays on. So that's pretty much all you have to do when you get this unit. Make sure you charge it up. Manual's right here. Charger's here. We'll get that charged up. Again, this is how you operate it. It's like a motorcycle. There's your speeds. Slow, medium, fast, reverse, forward, horn, lights, turn off. Adjust this down by doing that. Up, tighten it back up. Now, if you're gonna fold it down, this is like a ratchet. So if you come here, you gotta go all the way down and back up down there's a lever right here can you get that white this drops down just watch your fingers you're going to want to drop this down tighten it back up and from here there's a little clip up you can fold it down and now you can roll it should be able to stand this up Eight, really cool so don't go by the color purple super fast i think it's 12 miles per hour we actually had one that went 18 one time this is the triax sport now if you like this type of design, but you don't want the brushless motor, I will say there's some pluses and minus about that front motor. The plus is it when you're at the store, you can move around with your feet. You have to lock it like this to get on and off of it. It's not a locking brake transaxle at the back. When you start up hills, you want to put some weight on that front motor. You don't want to be sitting back going up hills. It will spin the tires, but super cool. Throw two of these in the back of a Toyota Camry and you're ready to go you'll like it. If you have any questions about this, um, I can tell you everything you want to know about this unit. Just give me a call at 803-926-2224. Visit us online at affordablemedicalusa.com. This is the Triax Sport and um, it's neat. Thank you. Have a great day.